coach, you know, pro day today, I guess, um, just real general, how do you think it went and you know, how many scouts and, and teams did you have out here today? Yeah, I think we had all the scouts out here. Uh, was really proud of our guys. It really tested well, really showed out well. Um, it was great to have everybody out here. It was a great day for Western Kentucky. and. Um, Great to hear all the, the positive feedback from different scouts and, uh, and all those people. So uh, just a good day all around. was really happy for the guys. Coach, you know, just uh, looking at, you know, how, how, those how uh, D'Angelo Malone, you know, Bailey and Jared have done, you know, this, you know, last season, you know, just how proud are you, are, are you of them, you know, just seeing how, how they've done, you know, these past few months with, you know, all the pro stuff. Yeah, just really proud of those guys, how hard they worked, how much they've invested into the program and, and to see the success they're having now and, and uh, to see all the scouts that were out there today. And just says a lot about Western Kentucky, our program, those men. And, and uh, so it's just a really great day all around, you know, and, and Bailey looked great, Jareth looked great, um, you know, D'Angelo running around and all those guys, you know, were, Got to see Bo, hadn't seen Bo or, or right guard in a while. He tested really good and got to see some of the old players that came back to watch him. You know, Devin Key was out there, Jordan Meredith. So it's just a kind of a reunion for everybody. And that was really neat to see. I know you've said before, Bailey Zappi is the best quarterback that you've coached. And just from talking to the scouts today, what were their assessments of him? And, you know, what did they think of just you know, from what they've seen over the years, or this season, I should say, to today, what did they make of him? Uh, I think, you know, all the feedback I got, they were really excited about him. And, and uh, you know, you're talking about my as the best quarterback in college football last year, you know. And uh, so when you put up the numbers he did, and, and this is their opportunity to, to, for him to do his workout with them. And, you know, I thought they were wild by a lot of the different throws he made, his anticipation that he had out there. And it was a cold, windy day, too, and he, he was still able to be pretty accurate with the football. So um, had a lot of people coming up saying just how impressed they were with him and, and all the other guys that were out there working for him. You know, all the receivers that, that ran and caught for him, and Jareth was out there. and um, So there was a lot of really good feedback. Coach, probably the next time that you're going to uh, be able to celebrate is on draft night. How much are you looking forward to seeing these guys uh, potentially go to this NFL, those NFL teams and get celebrated on the national stage? Yeah, no, it's great. And uh, that's kind of the next big thing. We'll all wait with anticipation and uh, to see their name called. And that's always a special deal to, to, to hear those names called. And it'll be sentimental for me, you know, uh, but it, it's something that now everybody's going to look forward to. And uh, I joke, I better get some gear out of the deal, too. I'm, I'm looking for some, <laughs> some, some gear from them. So. Uh, you know, Bailey, D'Angelo, and Jared are probably the three getting the most attention. Only Bailey and D'Angelo went to the combine. So, you know, how much does that make this day important for a guy like Jared and, and these other guys trying to get, you know, maybe not drafted, but some of those, you know, free agent deals and get on the practice squad or something like that? Yeah, it's huge. As many eyes as that you can get on you with all the scouts we had out there. and. Um, you know, and it, it had a couple of higher personnel, player personnel people out there as well. Uh, it, it is huge. And, and, you know, I think Jareth in particular has done a great job ever since the postseason bowl games and um, all the testing he's done. And, and there's a lot of buzz around him. And so just to get those, those eyes on those players, it, it's, a, it's a big deal for sure. You know, the three years that you've been head coach here, and you talk about how sentimental it is to have multiple players who could be drafted, if not more than the three we mentioned. You know, how does that compare to some of the other years where you had, you know, players who were able to have a chance at the draft, but where you just know that, like, more players will get in this year? Like, how does that compare to the past? Well, I think, you know, every year that you're in a program, you're always trying to take the next step. And one of those steps for us is, always putting players on a platform to, to be draftable players and, and to be high draft picks and uh, to make an NFL team. And, and every year we've been here, we've seen that, that progress. And so today was a big day for sure, but I'm looking forward to a lot of other days like this in years to come. I think the more and more we progress as a program and uh, we're at a fantastic place here in, in, in what's invested into this program and we're reaping the rewards of that right now. And so. Uh, my expectation is year in and year out, we have a lot of days like this. Uh, you know, kind of off topic, but this week, some Conference USA news. Uh, the Sun Belt 
three are, are going to go to the Sun Belt rescheduled. Uh, those games came out yesterday. I guess what are your thoughts on the new schedule? Yeah, great. As long as we're playing all our games and, and uh, you know our job and, and our team will tell you this too, we, we just want to go out there and play. And so I think we got a good schedule, very challenging schedule, great opportunity to, to go win some, some big football games. and. Uh, to be a part of the national conversation. That's our main goal every year, be a part of the national conversation. Um, you know, best of luck to the teams that, that left us. I was joking with my brother. Like, he's down there at Georgia South. I think he picked up Marshall now. So I, I said, yeah, y'all get Marshall. So, um, but really excited about the, the, the season and the schedule. And, and uh, I think it sets up good for us. It's, it's a challenging schedule, but if we get on a run and do well, it, it'll say say a lot about this program. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all. Yeah.